Finally. I know. <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? I am fine. I was actually a dancer on Soul Train. I was on Soul Train. <laughs> I was on um it's a BT Comic View. Mm -hmm. They had dancers. I was on there. I was supposed to go on tour with the Isley Brothers. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I'm dating myself. You may not know who these oh. people are but yeah i danced for many years oh, yeah i didn't oh that's good to know i didn't know that i didn't see that in yeah your, um biography you could have yeah shared that yeah i mean and you know i think once a dancer always a dancer mm -hmm. you know um so i i can see myself at 90 years old still getting it in you know <laughs> yeah 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 all right. Um, hello, guys. Welcome to our in, our interview section with Shades of Shades. We're with the uh, founder. My husband Max. just joined. Yeah. Hi, hubby. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the party. Today, we're going to be discussing about Shades of Shades, and she's going to be sharing her experience. So hang out with us. Get a wine bottle, a water bottle, whatever you can to just entertain yourself, and let's have fun. We'll probably dance at the end of this. She can... Show us a little bit of a talent, right? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Great. That's right. <laughs> All right great. How, how are you doing? I'm good. You know, this, this quarantine has definitely, um, it's been a blessing and a curse. Um, obviously, you know, you get to spend more time with family and kind of slow down. And, but, um, you know, we're dealing with it as best as we can. Yeah. So we're just, you know, trying to remain optimistic and just keeping positive energy um you know spreading that throughout the world and praying for all those who have been affected yeah um so let's start from the beginning okay so tell us a little bit about yourself and i know that you're a survivor uh from a um, brain tumor so can you give us a little bit of insight why you tell us a little bit about yourself yeah of course um well i am a first generation born jamaican my parents are both from Jamaica, mm -hmm. Kingston. Um, Jamaica is where my dad grew up. And my mother is from Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And I was raised in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, PG mm -hmm. County, represent. <laughs> and we, um, you know, I, I was raised as an only child. So mm -hmm. I didn't have um, any siblings, but I think that that forced me to be more independent and creative um so i grew up always creating um just definitely always into music dance any form of creativity pretty much and i went to school on a dance scholarship the university of maryland and from there i transferred to Bowie state university where i have my computer of computer of science degree my bachelor of science degree i'm sorry and that's where i met my husband Aww. So from there, um, we relocated to California. Mm -hmm. I lived in Los Angeles for 13 years, where I worked in the industry. And um, then once we decided to start having a family, mm -hmm. we relocated here to Charlotte, mm -hmm. where two years ago, I was recently diagnosed with the brain tumor. And um, from there, um, I'm just thankful for life, yeah. thankful to be here. And yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, it came, it it really was a shock because I've always been very fit. I've always, um, you know, been very cautious of what I would eat. Yeah. Um, and I was actually working out and I hit my head and I was having terrible, terrible headaches and went to the doctor, got a CAT scan and MRI. And it came back that I actually did have a brain tumor. So, um, yeah, I, um, this, I, I feel like God gave this vision to me, my brand to me, um, kind of as a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I was kind of birthing that mm -hmm. as a reason to stay here. So I, I couldn't let my mind go to not being here for my children and not being mm -hmm. here for my family. Mm -hmm. And while I was in the transition of dealing with having the brain tumor, mm -hmm. that's when God gave me the, the blessing of this brand and told me that I was going to be the one to introduce it into the world. Yeah. First of all, the name is amazing. I think Thank you. Like, 
when the first time I saw your brand, I was like, Shade of Shade. And the first time I went to was your website. And the, the one thing that stood out to me as a consumer was the fact that you had this section in your website that says Shade Finder. And I knew, wow, this lady really like took her time to plan this out. Um, so let's get, I, I can see someone saying, don't forget your husband. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Obviously that was my husband commenting. <laughs> Hello, Hussie. How are you doing? How are you doing, hubby? <laughs> hope you're having a wonderful day thank you for joining and supporting your wife yes, so we're yes. going to have fun with this interview um my next question is uh obviously the first thing i want to ask is how did you come about um creating that brand name a name that is mem memorable like anybody can remember that name like it's really really good thank you yeah it's literally shades of shades okay so i mean like literally um I wanted the collection and the brand to be 100% all inclusive. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to pretty much market it the same way that we look at makeup foundations yes. and how every single piece is custom. Okay. So you, it, it's like, um, you know, what I was finding previously, most nudes on the market, mm -hmm. uh, they were blanket nudes, meaning that they thought that there was a one nude fit all type mm -hmm. of situation. And obviously, um, for people, I, I can't even say for people like me, because for everyone, anyone who wears makeup or anyone who has a skin complexion, obviously, you're special, you're unique, you're an individual, and there should be a nude for you. Yeah. So, I mean, that's why I created the brand. Um, I could not find a nude for me. Your skin color, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it was, um, I would go to, you know, so many different boutiques and just randomly try on nudes that I knew obviously did not match my complexion, um, but there wasn't any other options. So um, instead of going to four or five different places trying to find my custom nude, mm -hmm. like I said, I created it. Okay, um, so my question as an entrepreneur, because when you just said that, I wanted to think, what was the beginning like starting your business? like? Where did you, obviously you created a business plan, right? But what was one of the greatest things as an entrepreneur and what did, what was one pitfall that you experienced and you wish like you knew and you could have like avoided? Um, well, first of all, creating any brand mm -hmm. is no joke. It is hard. <laughs> it doesn't matter how seasoned you are. It doesn't matter if you, does, if you don't have any experience whatsoever. You all have to start at the same starting point and research, 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 find great quality uh, manufacturers. Our factory is based out of Italy. Um, I knew that I did not want to sacrifice my materials. My, uh, I wanted everything to be very premium, very lush and of top quality. Mm -hmm. So that was very important to me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was, it, it's a journey. It is. Yes. <laughs> now you are wearing, which is that the chai? Ari. Yeah, that's Ari, Ari chai. It's okay. Ari chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? That looks fabulous on you. I actually would have gone a little bit lighter for your complexion. However, the amazing thing about all of the silhouettes is that you can mix and match. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Hope is giving me life right now. Yes, yes. sure. <laughs> yeah, because you were talking, I'll do the modeling. Just okay, it yes. I love it. I love it. And you know what? That is the feeling that most of our shoppers get when they receive their glasses, especially when they wear their shade for the first time. You feel a sense of pride, you know, like... um it's it's custom for you yes yes packaging down to everything we put thought 100 percent thought and care into it so that is actually the box that it comes in and when you open it up we have a lot of goodies in there for you um we have yes the the logo is gold foiled stamped on the inside and then we have a hard case and that is good for protecting your glasses. 
And then in addition to that, oh, okay, we're gonna. <laughs> You are really modeling the whole thing for me. That's my job, man. Yes, yes. So this is a great um, area to store your glasses in. Um, and that's for, you know, you can use it on your dressers or, um, you know, on your desk and things of that sort. Inside of the main box, there's also a soft leather pouch, which is great for your purse or um, for, you know, your... A briefcase of that sort so yeah and then she's going to open up the bottom and you'll see all of the packaging so it's like this and this is in here where's your pouch oh there it is <laughs> it's here. okay so you get you close that bow. yeah and, and then, then you also have on the on the leather pouch you, you have, have the shades of shades embossed on the leather on the leather and then um for the hard box you have the gold hardware with the shades of shades logo on it as well so it's very premium um it's very um you know like i said we put a lot of thought and care into the whole experience from our um you know customer concierge that we offer with the website through the packaging, through our delivery, through the actual product. It's very intentional. Everything that we've done is full of intent. So that is, yes. And so when the soft pouch, you actually also have a clear version of the RHI. And you know what? I'm gonna put on my RHIs as well. Yes, I love that on you, Hope. Oh my goodness. This is my butter pecan. This would be my shade. So we are both wearing Ari. <laughs> yes, and I am actually, you know what? I don't have my clear one handy right now, but this is giving me like, you know, really cute personality um, vibes. This is when you, this is great for optical um, prescription wear. Or, like I said, if you just want to have that personality vibe of just, you know, sprucing up your, your wardrobe just a bit. I believe that every single person needs a staple nude. You know, you have the staple black, you have the staple tortoise, and in your wardrobe, it's necessary to have that staple nude. This is the Cindy, my cat eye. Okay. And this is in Butter Pecan as well, my shade. And I'm gonna give you the clear version of that so we can be on the same page. Okay. Yes. yes. Same page, yes. yes. I'm just in a good mood though, okay? <laughs> you guys need to check it out, shadesofshades.com. Um, that is where you guys can get your shades. I love the fact, as I mentioned earlier, I love the fact that, you know, um, there is a section on your website that says Shades Finder. This, that's the first time I've seen that before. So it's yes, cute that you I mean, meet people that option. Yeah, we wanted to definitely make it easy for people to find their custom shoot, their custom nude shade. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, uh, February of 2021 is the slate date for our app. We are developing an app. We actually have been developing an app for over a year now. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's been a while. taking quite some time. I'm the one too. Yeah, but it will be, um, you know, it's amazing for actually virtually trying on your glasses and seeing if it's a great match for you before you purchase. Um, but even right now, we have the return where you can do um, complimentary returns and exchanges if it's not, you know, a great match. So, I mean, we're definitely rolling out big things with the app, super exciting. And then also, as I mentioned before, um, you know, with, oh, what's, which one is this? Okay, with, um, you know, mixing and matching, this is the mocha. Yeah. So this is not my shade, but I like to wear this sometimes and I still love it because number one, it's not black. Yeah. Like, I don't think that people realize that, you know, um, eyewear can have pigment. Yeah. And when I say pigment, I mean nude 
um, undertones and hues similar to makeup. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, you know, for my mocha girls and guys, you know, this is not black, but it's giving me life. Giving me life. Yes. yes. I love yes. that. Yes. I love and you. Then, and then when you want to really have fun and switch it up. Yes. And go for more of a trendier look. You know, I may put these on every now and again. Okay. And this is sesame. This is completely not my shade. Mm -hmm. However, they are super fun mm -hmm. and super. And they stand um, what, out. Yeah, they stand yes. out. When I want that trendy type of feeling, that's what I go to. But, um, you know, as I stated, the collection in whole and the brand in whole, mm -hmm. it's very classic. Classic mm -hmm. silhouettes, um, timeless pieces. Great packaging. Um, you, you forgot to mention the packaging. Delivery packaging is top notch, guys. <laughs> when I received my packet, I was like, this is for me? Oh, oh this is really I love nice. that. I yeah, love it. So yes, because like I said before, the whole, um, you know, the whole thing is an experience yes. from beginning to end. And I certainly, you know, I want you to feel the importance and the value that you bring to this world. And so that's why I created the brand. And you should feel that from the very beginning to the very end. So... so yeah, this is another um, silhouette. This is our Montreal. This is my shade, Butter Pecan. And as I mentioned before, these are made in Italy. This is um, Matsukeli Acetate, the highest premium raw materials we've sourced. Carl Zeiss lenses. Those are gradient, but we also offer polarized lenses as well. And... Let's see, what else do we have? This is Latte. And this is not my shade, but it still complements beautifully. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it, like I said, you definitely need a staple. You need a staple nude. Um, and I feel that the great thing is it goes with any wardrobe. It goes with any wardrobe. Um, and yeah, I mean, you get tired of wearing black all the time and I, you just, you need to feel an extension of yourself when you, when you are in the world, yes. you know, it's like I'm here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. I love this. I love the shade so much because when I go to the store now, since they said coronavirus is airborne, this is where I wear because I don't want to see anyone's face. So yeah. I just go in there. <laughs> I, just, I just hide in here and be like, hello, hi, can you help? Right. <laughs> You know, it's really pretty. I, I love your shade. Your unique. Thank you. Um, I have. Uh, I was. I think I mentioned this on my um unboxing video. The fact that the sides they are tiny and they are comfy but on the side because I have one um shade um shade for um by Dutch Gabbana. Mm -hmm. Actually, got it at um Hitro, um London mm -hmm. Hitro. And uh -huh. when I wear it, my brain, this end of my brain, it hurts. You understand? Yeah. But I like the fact that this sits comfortably and yes. it's like you don't see it. But in my other shade, you can see it's really big. It's like, yes. big, like yes. boom. You know, so yes. that's some I think that's something people should realize. Like when they buy your shades, it's gonna sit comfortably on their face. Yeah. And I mean and yeah. and I mean I'm glad you brought that up because mm -hmm. everyone's shape is different as far as their facial structure and things of that sort. <laughs> And we have, we've been very deliberate and very intentional with the design of our glasses. Mm -hmm. And even though everyone is different, we do have the complimentary exchange program if it doesn't work for you. Mm -hmm. So we, at the end of, of the day, we want you to be pleased. We want you to feel regal and feel wonderful in your shade, literally. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. And as I mentioned, or I don't know if I did mention, but we have a 14 shade palette. So mm -hmm. Hope is wearing Chai right now, but as I showed you earlier, this particular complexion is our sesame complexion. Yes. So it ranges from milk all the way to mocha. So yes. you get a nice range of uh, different shades and we're constantly expanding and constantly, um, you know, just growing the brand. Yes. So. And I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. <laughs> I love it. I Thank love it. You. I love it. Things that things that I love as a creative, as someone that loves lifestyle, fashion, and look. Um, one, the 
biggest thing you're giving people options like 14 range of different nude shades that's a plus you know Thank normally you. normally we just get black or brown I know. <laughs> you know not we anymore never get anything in between so having that um thought of you know creating that um additional um collection is perfect because it gives people the opportunity especially now where people are very concerned about like things like um undertone like you mentioned like for me when i do my makeup obviously i'm not like a makeup artist but there are things that i look for you know that you know being able to match between my undertone color and my butter you know butter whatever they call it <laughs> you yeah, know of course. <laughs> and, but you know makeup artists too will benefit from this so if, i think in the future maybe you should partner up with like things people like makeup artists so that they can talk about you know how they can use their foundation to match your shades i don't know yeah i mean it's great that you say that because if you go to the website we actually have a makeup compatibility finder mm -hmm. um where you can actually go on there pull up the uh partnered makeup um uh, retailers and literally match your shade with their shade mm -hmm. so for example if you're wearing you know a fancy uh 340 or something of that sort you'll be able to go to the website find it on our makeup compat compatibility chart and then it will recommend okay your uh caramel or your chai or you know so i mean it's great that you have that option and then that partnered with the app that will be coming out in the near future in addition to just our general shade finder you are going to definitely find a shade fit for you. Okay. Did you hear that, guys? I'm just being a model here. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to okay. join you. I'm going to join you. Which pillow wet should I wear? What should, I have a, another question. What should people, yes. I know, tw again, as you mentioned, 2020 has been a year for, like, a lot of entrepreneurs were hit in a way that they didn't expect um so my my second my third question would be what have you learned from this pandemic and what are you going to do to try to avoid any um any negative impact in the future as an entrepreneur and then what should people expect from this brand from um, beginning 2020 moving forward well in general i kind of like to tune out too much of the news, too much of negative vibration. Um, and when I feel myself getting to that point, I meditate. Mm -hmm. I meditate and I reflect on all of the beautiful things that life has to offer. I am very, very blessed and thankful for everything that I have in my life and all the people I have in my life. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that is what keeps me grounded and that it is what keeps me um, just, you know, thankful and grateful to be here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and as far as the brand, you know, I feel like we have gotten such an amazing reception. Um, I'm just seeing it continue to flourish and continue mm -hmm. to grow. And the wonderful thing is I'm in love. Like it when you do something from your gut, from mm -hmm. your soul, um, you know, it, it's literally your baby. Yeah. So I carry it as one of my I'm I'm a mom of three. So I carry it as my fourth child. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, I I have long nights, long days, sometimes literally like a nineteen hour day working, but it's all worth it. Yes. it's all worth it and even on the not so great days you get to learn from it you know what i mean you get to see okay how can i improve what area can i you know build upon how can i make this work and it's a part of the journey it's yes. a part of the journey that's good to know is yeah. there anything else you would like us to know why i continue modeling this 
or uh, <laughs> I, I mean that's what we get guys do you have any questions drop it in for macho should be happy to answer any questions yeah, um, yeah for sure. I, I think i think like um one thing people should do i think one thing we should do more as creative influencers especially now that you know there is this movement about buy black and all of that i think it's up to us as creative influencers to keep pushing brands like yours that are unique you. that you. are not like well known yet but thank you keep using our platform to push your brand so thank that you, you know because when you're successful everyone is successful that's thank how you. i see it you know and thank you so much oh you're welcome by the way i have a question have any celebrity purchased your shade because i saw kristen million in yes. your, in your, uh, on your website is, yes. is she one of your purchases yes um we had the pleasure of having her we've had um eva longoria mm -hmm. um rihanna has a pair erica badu has a pair um you know we are definitely making our way out there yes. into the world and you know i'm just i'm thankful but i am just as thankful if my next door neighbor purchases mm -hmm. a pair or yes. you know so it's not just um celebrity clientele it's it's anyone who believes in the movement anyone who um recognizes that they are beautiful and that they you know their shade needs to be represented mm -hmm. um this brand is for you i dedicate this brand to you that's so beautiful it makes me want to cry <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's true it's true self-love self you know representation self-pride self-worth like we're all worthy yes yes i mean should i give it to you guys one more time one more time okay one more time, of course let me join you let me join you what are we doing what are we doing um let me let me end it on my sit my cindy's <laughs> Oh, you doing it? Uh oh. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Look, that's for another day and another time. <laughs> <laughs> this is me when I was back in London. You know, there, there are lots of Jamaicans in London, so yes. like it was so much fun. Like yes. you know, like it was so much fun. Like I, I don't know what happened then you know but i, I yeah really, i mean when I meet a jamaican i'm always excited because it reminds me of my young self you know yes. i was very very influenced by you guys you know so. oh that's that's beautiful i'm i'm uh, that makes that warms my heart to hear that yes but you know guys we have come to the end of this interview and I hope you guys enjoyed and loved. You love Masha very well. And you. I hope you learned something from her. I hope you guys go out there, spread the word. Tell everybody, your mom, your father, your sister, <laughs> concubine, girlfriend, everybody. Zaddy. Thank you. Everyone Thank you. should buy Shades of Shades. And the cool thing is that Shades of Shades is unisex, meaning that a guy can buy one and a woman can buy one too. You can get, give it as a gift to anyone. So yes. don't just limit yourself and say, oh, I'm just buy it for myself. Girl, we, we ain't doing that. <laughs> so get That's it right. <laughs> share, share, share the shade, you know, yes. share it. Yeah. Do you have any yes. last words there? Um, I just want to say thank you to all of those that have supported the brand thus far. Um, a special thank you to my husband, um, who has been cranking it out with me day in and day out. Um, he's on, oh, I think he's still on the feed. I know he's mm -hmm. downstairs with the kids right now, <laughs> but, um, you know, I just want to thank all of my family and friends for all of your love and support. Mm -hmm. Um, and everyone who believes in the brand and who, you know, definitely understands that this is a legacy brand to stay you know we are the next chanel of nude eyewear and you know i'm just thankful for the opportunity to bring it to the masses so thank you yes did i have a <laughs> model did i yes, model yes. look we are always looking for new models and ambassadors to come through oh yeah okay okay <laughs> All right. thank you so much thank you with me I, i'm really happy i'm really happy that i met you i'll keep spreading the word like i thank always you so do. much and um good luck 
Secrets. And thank you. Listen, this is my first live, y'all, and I did it with hope. You helped me get through it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.